Sagutan natin tong problems. Multiply the following. Let's start with 1. 2.5 times 1.5. So kapag magmultiply tayo ng decimals, pwede muna natin i-disregard yung mga decimal point and then i-multiply natin yung mga numbers the usual way of multiplication. So kung i-disregard ka muna yung mga decimal point, pwede natin i-multiply yung 2.5 without the decimal. So just like 25 times 1.5 without the decimal, 15, right? Then, multiply natin the usual way. 5 times is 5, 25, right? 5, carry the 2. 5 times 2, it's 10, plus 2, we have 12. And then, next, 1 times 5, it's 5. Then, 1 times 2, it's 2. Then, add natin. So, bring down the 5. 2 plus 5, it's 7. 1 plus 2, it's 3. And then, bilangin natin yung total decimal place, right? So, dito sa 2.5, meron tayong 1 decimal place, right? Dito naman sa 1.5, meron tayong 1 decimal place. So, pag tinutal natin, we have a total of 2 decimal places. So, yun din yung number of decimal place na i-move natin. Dito sa starting point, laging sa dulo, nung sagot natin, move natin, 2 decimal places to the left. 1, 2. So, therefore, magiging answer natin is 3.75. Next, for number 2, we have 73.64 times 0 0.025. So, again, disregard muna natin yung mga decimal points. Sulat muna natin itong 73.64 as simply 73.64. And then, itong 0 0.025, disregarding the decimal point, so magiging 0, 2, 5, right? So, dahil 0 lang naman yung nahan, pwede na lang yung i-consider as 25. So, multiply natin the usual way. 5 times is 4, it's 20. Carry the 2. 5 times is 6, 30. Plus 2, 32. Carry the 3. 5 times is 3, it's 15. Plus 3, 18. Carry the 1. 5 times is 7, it's 35. Plus 1, 36. Next is 2 times 4, it's 8. Then 2 times 6, it's 12. Carry the 1. 2 times 3, it's 6. Plus 1, 7. Then 2 times 7, it's 14. Now i-add natin, so bring down the 0. 2 plus 8, it's 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 8, it's 9. Plus 2, 11. Carry the 1. Then 1 plus 6, it's 7. Plus 7, 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3 plus 4, it's 8. Then, bring down 1. So, bilangan natin yung number of decimal places. So, dito sa 73.64, we have 2. Then, dito sa 0 0.025, we have 3. So, we have a total of 2 plus 3, it's 5. 5 decimal places. So, mula dito sa dulo, mag-move tayo 5 decimal places to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, the answer is 1.84100 or 1.841. Next, number 3, we have 1.98 times 2.3. So, again, disregard muna natin yung mga decimal point. We can have 198 times 23. So, multiply 3 times 8, it's 24. Carry the 2. 3 times 9, it's 27. Plus 2, we have 29. Carry the 2. 3 times 1, it's 3. Plus 2, 5. Then 2 times 8, it's 16. Carry the 1. 2 times 9, it's 18. Plus 1, 19. Carry the 1. 2 times 1, it's 2. Plus 1, 3. Then add. Bring down the 4. 9 plus 6, it's 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. Plus 9, 15. Carry the 1. 1 plus 3, it's 4. Then, bilangan uli natin yung number ng decimal places. So, dito sa 1.98, we have 2. Then, dito sa 2.3, we have 1. So, total of 2 plus 1, 3 decimal places. So, mula dito sa dulo, move natin yung decimal point 3 places to the left. 1, 2, 3. So, the answer is 4.554. Now it's your turn. So, tayo nyo namang sagutan itong problems and just comment your answers.